Joining us now, the president of the American Petroleum Institute, Mike Summers. Mike, when you saw this story, what did you think? I mean, they blocked a family with a baby in the car, blocked them from using a charging station so Energy Secretary Granholm could use it, and they used a gas-powered car to block it, and then they called the cops? I mean, this just screams entitlement and abuse of power. The people are in Twitter comparing it to an episode of Veep. <laughs> well, I, I do think it demonstrates the importance of the role of consumer choice here. For many Americans, an EV might make sense. But for most Americans who have to travel long distances to get to work and to school, an EV at this point just doesn't quite have the technology that Americans want or need. Unfortunately, the Environmental Protection Agency right now is promulgating a rule that would basically mandate uh, consumers have to buy an EV in, uh, by 2035. I think most Americans, as demonstrated by the secretary's troubles on her road, road trip, understand that that is not a choice, that they need to have the choice of the kind of vehicle that they want to buy right. for their lives. And unfortunately, that's not the choice that the federal government wants to provide for American families. Yeah, I, you know, people don't want them. Period. They don't want them. They want hybrid. They do. They would do electric and gas. I mean, you know, that's the way to go. Toyota's going down that road. I mean, and the thing is, they, so they finally get the wake-up call, living the life that the rest of us is living, as they do this top-down central control of the economy, government mandates. You know, notice that none of the government entourage, Mike, were driving Teslas, right? There was no Teslas. <laughs> that's right. I mean, maybe because they hate Musk so much, but that's what the NPR journalist was saying. That's a major takeaway. EVs that are not Teslas don't, they will have a road trip problem, no charging stations. And the White House knows this. Well, here's why this is important this week that this story came out, because the United States House of Representatives is actually going to have a vote this week where Republicans and Democrats are going to be able to choose. They're going to be able to choose whether they want this heavy handed government regulation, which is going to tell American people the kind of car that they can buy, or they can continue to go down this road of this government mandate. So I would encourage that uh, your, your watchers today contact their House of Representatives member and ask them how yeah. they're going to vote on this choice that they're going to have on Thursday. Mike, we... Another big thing that's going to happen this week is the UAW is going to choose whether or not they're going to strike. And one of the key sticking points is whether or not this mandate is going to happen. Uh... So this is a really big and important week right now. And so it's important that your, your viewers right now take action with their member of the House of Representatives. I know we're running out of time. We have to ask you about this. NSC spokesman John Kirby is indicating the Biden White House may again try to drain even more out of the U.S. strategic petroleum reserves as the president's polls are plummeting. This is because of Russia and OPEC plus oil production cuts. I mean, it's already at a 40 year low. He drained it to that level. It's meant for actual emergencies, not political emergencies like his plunging polls. He's waging an insane war on U.S. domestic fossil fuel production at a time when we need that production more than ever. It is a tragedy what they did to abuse the Strategic Petroleum Reserve right before the last election. We're now down to the lowest levels that we have since 1984. And here's the problem. We use 20 percent more oil today than we did in 1984. We're at about a 13-day use of, of oil left in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Here's the answer. We need to unlock American resources. At the same time, they're talking about letting more oil out of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. They're locking up resources in the state of Alaska, which wants to develop our resources. They're locking up resources in the Gulf of Mexico, and they're preventing resources from being developed on federal lands and in federal waters. They, they have a choice, too, and the choice they're making is to stop American development and rely on this SPR, which shouldn't be used in this political fashion. Got it. Mike Summers, thank you so much. It's good to see you on the show. Great to be with you, Liz.